I'm Marty Garbus. I'm a, an attorney, a trial attorney. I've written six books. I've tried hundreds of cases. I've traveled pretty much throughout the United States trying cases as well as doing international human rights work. Trump and his administration decided to attack Cuba. So what you deal with, I think, in the law and with respect to the book I wrote, North of Havana, which deals with Cuba, you now see Bolton yesterday holding a press conference on the 58th anniversary of the Bay of Pigs. Uh, and you see Trump ratcheting it up and Bolton calling Cuba part of the uh, uh, troika of tyranny, Venezuela, Russia, and Cuba, and uh, him doing this on the 58th anniversary of the Bay of Pigs asks, leads one to inevitably ask the question, is there gonna be something like the Bay of Pigs coming out? When Castro came into power, the mafia and all the other gangsters were chased out. They came into Miami, a lot of them, and from Miami they set up a base to A, make money, but B, ultimately to overthrow Castro. The events in this book start about 1993, but from 1959 to 1993, there were many, many, many acts of violence against the Cuban people in Cuba, and also Cuban planes were blown out of the air. Clinton and Castro agreed that uh, an attempt would be made to stop the Miami right wing from causing havoc in Cuba. Uh, part of that agreement was they needed, the FBI needed people to infiltrate the Cuban right wing. They could not do it sufficiently. So a group of Cubans came, they were called the WASP Network uh, from Havana. And they worked in partnership with the FBI to try and find and stop the Cuban right wing that was doing these bombings and killings. Brothers to the Rescue uh, was a right wing group which had for years been flying planes over Havana. And they were doing two things. One, they were dropping leaflets. Uh, they said they were dropping bombs. Maybe they did. They never got on the mainland. They were dropping leaflets, some never got onto the mainland, and, the, and they were radio, radioing into Havana. And they were telling the people, listen, we can pierce the Cuban air defenses. If we can do that, you can rise up and revolt. So Brothers to the Rescue was like a symbol of people from Miami in planes coming over and trying to cause the overthrow of Castro. When uh, three planes, uh, took off from Miami. They gave uh, false information, both to the American government and to the Cuban government, as to where they were going and what they were going to do. And ultimately, three Cuban MiGs come up to the air and they, they tell the American planes, the brothers, the rescue planes, to go back. They don't. Uh, the, Amer the Cuban planes are over, the, the, the brothers, the rescue planes are over Cuba. They, they've gone, uh, they've left international waters where they might be safe. Uh, they want to go over to Havana. Castro comes up, shoots down two of the planes. Why is that Castro? Cuban MiGs come up, shoot down two of the planes, four people get killed. What the Cuban book uncovers is exactly what we see today with Barr. It looks at the use and misuse of the law uh, to achieve political ends. It persuades you, if you didn't know it before, that the word truth and the law have very little to do with each other. There's an illusion that the law uh, uh, deals with truth. And if you look closely enough through the law and use the law, you will find truth. Mm -hmm.